Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to fix error establishing a database connection in WordPress. So, let's get started. So, to fix it, we must need to log into our cPanel account because we cannot access WordPress dashboard while having this error on our website. So, to log into our cPanel account, in the address bar, we are going to type our domain name slash cPanel next to it and we are going to hit enter. And now here we need to enter our cPanel username and password. You can find this username and password from the email which is attached to your web hosting. So now we are going to log in. So at first we are going to find database and user for our website. So we are going to scroll down to file section and from here we are going to click on file manager. Click public underscore html. And now from here we are going to navigate to wpconfig.php file. So here it is. Right click on it and then click edit. Again click on edit and here you will see your database, username and password. Usually this error is happened because of the database username password. So we are going to change the database username password. So we will go back to our cPanel dashboard again. And after that we are going to scroll down to databases section. And from here we are going to click on MySQL databases. After that we will scroll down to current users section. So here it is. And we are going to find the user for our database. So for the confirmation, I will again go back to wp-config file. And see our username. So here is our username. 653. So again, we will go back to databases section. And here is our database username. Next to it, we will see a change password button. So we are going to click on it. And after that, we are going to click password generator from here. Or you can type your own password. So I am going to click on generate password. Then copy this password from here. And then I will click on use password. And then click on change password. Click OK. Now we will go back to WP config file again. And we are going to paste the password here. After that from the top we are going to click on save changes. Now we will go back to our WordPress website again. And then refresh it. And as you can see that our WordPress website is working fine. If it is not working for you, then maybe there is a mistake in database name or username. So what you can do is that, go back to wp-config file again, copy the username from here, go back to databases section and search for this database. Just copy it from here again, go back to wp-config file and paste it here again. Again for the user, just copy it from here and paste it here. And at last what you can do is that go to MySQL databases and then click on this username and after that just click on all privileges and then click on make changes. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.